The College Woods located west of William and Mary's campus are host to all kinds of biological diversity. There are rare and endangered species found only within a few places in the College Woods, a whole lot of deer, and many adventures college students out on walks. The woods are iconic to William and Mary, being built in the 1930s by FDR's Civilian Conservation Corps. My thesis asks a simple question, how long have the woods looked like this? We know that Lake Matoka, which the woods surround, was created in 1703, and we have maps from the late 1700s showing the area around it to be cleared. From this, I'm asking, when did the woods form? And how long beforehand was the area cleared? To answer this question, I've decided to use phytoliths. Now, phytoliths are small microscopic crystalline structures formed within plant cells. When the plant dies, the phytoliths are deposited into the soil. And like with pollen, based on the shape of the phytolith, I'm able to identify which plant created them. So I went out in the college woods and collected soil from 15 plots and looked at the phytoliths within the plots. Using this, I created what I call a phytolith signature of the college woods. My results showed that the college woods are, are fairly homogenized. This means that no matter where you go, you'll find the same phytoliths in the soil and they'll be created by the same plants. I also found that the phytolith signature of the woods reflects less that so a forest and has a lot more influence um, from grasses. And this could mean that the area was more recently cleared or it could mean that the soil of the area remains for a longer time, accumulating more and more phyllus within it. So the other portion of my research is currently ongoing, but I am looking at the phyllus within a core from Lake Matoka in order to identify the phyllus signatures at different points throughout the lake's history. I've already seen a nearly threefold increase in grass phyllus from the early 1700s confirming my suspicions that the area was cleared at the time of the lake's creation. What my hope is, is that I will be able to compare the phyllus signatures from the lake to the modern phyllus signature, and since it's homogenized, use that average as a way to predict and identify when the two signatures matched up and when the woods became um, how they are now. Um, then my hope is that these findings will be able to show that other similarly cleared areas within Virginia could also reach the same diversity that we see within the college woods if they're just properly protected for the right amount of time.